power effects done in the Blob remake, what do quilts have to do with it, and what the hell is going on with Kevin Dillon's haircut? All shall be discussed. What's up all, you've got Rob from Terror at Synth High, and today I get to talk with Nick Benson again. And if you've watched the channel before, you might have seen that I talked with Nick Benson once before on the channel, and uh, he does a lot of special effects for a lot of great 80s movies, and uh, some cult classics that you probably know. So today we're going to talk just about the 1988 remake of The Blob, which he did special effects for, and uh, I'm super pumped for it, because that's one of my favorite 80s movies. In getting to talk to Nick about The Blob, I got to learn a lot of things that I sure as hell didn't know about the movie, and uh, hope you guys get to learn some things as well. Uh, make sure to stick around all the way through the end, there's a lot of interesting information about the movie that Nick gives here, and as well as check out the other episodes that I did with him, where we talk more generally about a lot of his other 80s cult classics as well. So for now, let's jump right into it. What's up there, Nick Benson? What's happening, man? Not too much. Same, same as last time. Just going in a hundred directions at once. Can't seem to <laughs> keep it together. You know, well, trying uh, to anyway. I'm sure that's that's hectic for you, but but good for the fans, right? <laughs> for the future, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so yeah, today we're going to talk about the Blob remake uh, specifically. Thanks so much for uh, for joining me. I know you're you're so busy, so I appreciate you meeting with me to to bullshit a little bit. Oh, you bet. So it's uh, one of my favorite films to talk about. <laughs> well, that's that's great because it's one of my favorite films to watch. So <laughs> that works out well. I mean, that's yeah, up there. And like too, mine too. Believe it or not, I really enjoy watching that film too. It's a good one. Nice. Do you often find that you don't like watching some of the things that you worked on? Cause you're like, Oh, I could have done that better. Or you just like, <laughs> yeah, or you have different course. memories of it or stuff is like, is that awesome? Of course. Like, it's just, you yeah. know, it, it brings up, it brings up memories of doing certain things. And, and sometimes you even see, I mean, cause you, I, you know, a guy like me, I already know how we did stuff. So I look at stuff and I think, Oh Jesus, you know, we could have done that so much differently. Yeah. No, but, I, I uh, hear you. I hear yeah. you. You're right. I think a lot of people, a lot of times when, people create stuff. I know it's, it's like that for me, like with like music and stuff or, you know, whatever, whatever I work on. Um, so I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure that must be the case, especially when it's something in, you know, such widespread publication. Right. And you're just like, like looking sure. at all that stuff and everything. The blob, I, man, I love the blob. It's up there with like, I don't, you know, there's only a few great remakes and that's one of them. Um, you know, for, for my, I money. love that remake. I love everything about that remake, except te Kevin Dillon's haircut. <laughs> <laughs> well that was a product of the time <laughs> we, we've i didn't all, like we... it then i still don't like it now <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have to that's definitely gonna be flashing up when i uh, edit this uh, <laughs> sorry to him but you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we've all had our share of uh barren haircuts everybody a lot of people say i do now so you know <laughs> but yeah so that's, uh, that, that is, that is, I guess, maybe one of the only negative things about it. The kill, I think <laughs> everything stands up, man. Everything stands up today, like the special effects and For all. Sure. Um, so yeah, let's jump. So I, I wanted to actually first start with, so you got to work on this movie and obviously you were, I know we, we talked last time and you were, you were a universal kid and, you know, you were yeah. in a lot of the movies that then came, you know, after that in the fifties and everything. And the, you know, the blob in 1958 being, one of the ones that was like, you know, directly inspired by that. Right. So, I mean, what would yeah. you, so you grew up watching that, I imagine. I know we talked a little bit about it. I had seen it and that's, that's a little bit, I don't know if you remember our conversation, but I was a little hesitant at first to go get on that film. Cause I you was said like, that, yeah. Oh Jesus, we're going to be doing the blob. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, but then, you know, you get a look at the script and you start to kind of see the story differences and, made a little more sense it made it a little more believable uh so you know it it uh as we got into the effects side of things and started actually shooting things it was uh it started to come together for me a little better than than just saying oh yeah i'm working on a remake of the blob you know what i mean how so <clears throat> so what so what what changed it for you when you started looking well at like i text? said this you know look, looking at the script and knowing what we were doing uh, it seemed to make a little more sense and be at least a little more believable type of story. Um, you know, just because, well, I, if I re recall correctly, I think it was something like a $36 million budget 
Hmm. You know, you had a big director on it and that was, that was great to have Chuck Russell there and directing it. And that gives you a level of, of comfort, I guess, because he, he, you know, he already had a good track record of, you know, great things that he had directed. So, you know, I had a little bit of faith, but, you know, I mean, just knowing what I knew about the blob and it was kind of the original blob and it's, I love it, but it's just so cheesy, you know? Right, 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 right. I see what you're saying. Hard to think in 88 when I'm like, oh, I'm going to work on a remake (laughs) of the blob. Okay. Um, You know, but once we got into it and started doing things, it was like, oh, this could be really cool. This, this could really turn out well. Yeah. Um, And it's funny for anybody. Pretty. So go go ahead. Go ahead. That's kind of where it started. (laughs) That's where it started. Yeah. And like, yeah, I mean, I think most people that are watching this are probably pretty familiar with uh, the Blob remake. Um, Everyone I know loves it. um, Who's like in my age group or a little above or below or, you know, whatever. But um, for anybody who hasn't, you know, it's, I mean, you think about the Blob, you you don't think of like, you know, the gory kills and everything that ended up being in the Blob remake and how they kind of updated that and all the the special effects parts of it. You just think about, you know, something like, you know, crawling around and you just have that image in your head about it. And the Blob remake is yeah some very creative kills and some very yeah. interesting um, you know it's, it's a story storyline too and they actually you know and it, it's funny because I was you know remembering this when I was I mean I've always remembered this but then going back and watching it again it's like it's really ruthless like they kill everybody that you think is going to survive you know mm-hmm. and like that's kind of commonplace I feel today like you know it's just like always like movies are pretty mean and like everybody dies or you know like that well not not as much kids all the time, but in the blob they did. Um, but, right. you know, I, I feel like, you know, back then too, it's like, you, you really were, didn't think that was going to happen because it starts off and it's like, you know, half a, you know, half campy, it's got that bright eighties kind of thing that you're, you're looking for in it. And then like, you know, right. people start dying off that you don't think you're going to die off in it. <laughs> yeah. And that's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a writer, so I don't know. I, okay, I think the writer did a phenomenal, phenomenal job making that story believable, making that story what it was. I mean, it's a pretty incredible task to take and reinvent something like that. It sure is. And the blob looks great. So what was the blob made of in the remake? What was, well, the remember this was a, this was literally a small army of special effects technicians. And I think, I think, Almost everybody I knew in Hollywood at the time was working on that film. So wow, there was a lot of people on it. Um, but the the blob itself was made up of uh, of they made these. I guess for better or worse worse terms, we called them quilts, which literally they really were. They were fabric quilts that were made out of um, uh, what is it? Silk. So they're these silk quilts that are have all these little pockets in them. And these little pockets get continually, we had what work, we hired a shit ton of what we call blob wranglers. And what blob wranglers did was they took all of those quilts and kept filling them full of slime material called methicel. So they'd fill, they'd continually fill all those little postules in the quilts with methicel so we could continue to shoot. So we had, we had literally, if I remember correctly, we had hundreds of those quilts. So we would just take, as many quilts as we needed for a shot to make that blob as big as we needed it and uh you know just kind of overlap it and everything so it would become bigger you wouldn't really ever notice that it was um, quilts laying on top of each other because of the way it was painted and everything but uh yeah it's literally that and um that's crazy you know so as as that stuff would ooze out which it did a lot uh as that stuff would ooze out of the silk the uh the flattened the flattened quilts would go away and refilled quilts would come in for the next shot. So just a continual cycling of what that, like I said, blob wrangling. Hmm. <clears throat> huh. So, so how, and then, and then, you know, in different shots we would have, uh, you know, like there's tentacles and stuff like that. There was animatronic tentacles and parts of it. So, you know, it just depended on what we were doing. And, you know, as the film went on, it, it of course started small and got bigger. Right, 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 right. So, and I, I think that's that's kind of hard to see at some scenes too, that you know, it just I guess from from the viewer at least for me when watching, like I mean you see it in like the movie theater and it looks gigantic, and then you see right. um, you know like out in the streets and everything. But I know some of that's green screen, right? So like, what's the biggest like when is the when you're sitting in a real room? Like how big was like the biggest part of the blob? Some of it is green screen, and a lot of it was miniatures. Right. 
I know so, like the trucks uh, and like yeah. I'll, I'll use the theater scene for for instance uh my very good friend who's now a producer and uh uh owns a grip truck uh his name's michael roddy he was a he he and i both were the theater blob so okay. the theater blob when you see that in the theater and it's crushing all the seats and stuff that's mike and i crushing all those seats those seats were probably about that big oh nice. as big as my head and uh you so we really were just in the middle that. of that yeah, mm-hmm. like that. That I was I like when I was like when I'm watching that when I'm watching it, it looks pretty believable. Like it doesn't yeah. look like the it's some. I mean, some things you can yeah. see, you can tell like looking back if like something's miniature or not. But that's uh, yeah, that definitely stands up. Yeah, there was uh, there was even if I remember correctly, this there was an entire street of that town with trucks and everything. It was all one sixth scale. Mm. And that was for the, the entire shot of the town. That was also when the blob comes out of the sewer and slaps itself down right. the street. Okay. Uh, so that's, that, that was pretty neat set. Looking at that, walking in, looking at that entire town on a stage, you know, in miniature. Nice. Pretty neat. Nice. Nice. Have you, um, have you ever been to Blobfest? You know, actually, it's funny. I just found out about Blobfest. I did too, last, like last year. year. Yep, same last thing. Year. And then I got screwed this year. I never knew it was happening. I never knew it was there. My agent actually brought it up and he contacted the Colonial Theater where the 1958 Blob was shot. That's where I guess they hold it. And right. yeah. uh, I think I'm supposed to go out there this year for Blobfest, but we'll see. Oh, well, awesome. Well, I'm going to meet you then because then that's uh, that's pretty close to where I, well, not not close. I mean, I'm in New York and like, you know, like a couple no, hours above the city, but you know, <laughs> yeah, close, closer than we are now closer. So yeah. I'm definitely, cause we were going to go yeah. there this year. Cause I found out about it last year as well. Uh, for, for people that don't know, Blobfest is in, uh, I want to say I wrote it down cause I, uh, Phoenixville, uh, Pennsylvania, Phoenixville, uh, Pennsylvania. Yep. And that's, and that was where the original blob was filmed, uh, 1958 with the colonial theater and the, the, the famous scene and that where the, you know, the blob is. So they show it they show the blob there and it's a three day festival and they have all blob related merchandise. And I'm cra- I'm, I'm really surprised that you didn't know about this. Cause you're, you're one of the blob guys. <laughs> didn't, didn't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't feel, I don't feel so bad now. Yeah. I, I just found it. out about it last year. I thought it was weird. I'm like, they've been, Oh yeah. They've been having it for years. I'm like, where have I been? <laughs> I know, right. <laughs> I am. I mean, I imagine they have to do stuff for like, you know, the 88 one as well. Yeah, I sure. Imagine. Actually, interestingly enough, there's a, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the Mahoning Drive-In Theater. Uh, I'm not. That, I mean, I've that is a, it, that's yeah. a drive-in that's been in operation since I think the early 40s. Right. Yeah, and they still of. have the same projectors there. It's absolutely awesome. Nice. Um, I went there for Freddy Fest last year and they're doing a blob thing. I want to say the second second week of april second okay. weekend in april i believe is when they're doing it they're calling it a remake double take they're doing both versions of the blob and i think nice. some of the proceeds that they make are supposed to help the colonial because the colonials had a, r- a rough go the last year oh i bet yeah oh that's awesome that's good to know second week in april so that's still going to be going on they're still planning on doing it this year um, they are, yes, they, they are doing okay. the, rem- they've already scheduled it. I'm supposed to do an intro for it, but I've been kind of kicking the idea around of flying out there for it. Gotcha. All right. All right. That would be cool. I'm sure. You, sure. You've got other things you're working on, but that would be, uh, <laughs> if I can squeeze it in, I certainly uh, yeah. would love to go out there. I love going out there. Nice. Um, have you seen the 72 version? The beware the blob. Yes. I've never, I've never seen it. What are your thoughts on that? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> that's the general consensus I get. You know, that's, that's why I yeah. haven't seen it. Because when everybody talks about the blob, you know, for years, it's, you know, you watch the first one or you watch the, the 88 version. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, it's, wor- it's worth seeing if you like the blob. If you like the 58, it's, it's just an extra fun one to see. Um, very silly. <laughs> I like silly, but, though. Uh, so, you know, all right. Yeah have to check it out at some point. I was wondering what your thoughts were on, were on it. So, all right. <laughs> all right. So um, let's, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. So the, uh, the blob, the kills, the, uh, the effects, what is your favorite scene that you worked on? Do you have a favorite or? Well, uh, it's hard to pick a favorite. Um, I really, 
it got really messy in the theater and and uh in the sewer <laughs> mm. um those are two sequences I worked on, but the kitchen one was actually pretty fun. I think my favorite one was the the phone booth crush. That's one of my favorites. That was really That's that was awesome. really one of my favorites. And just technically, you know, I didn't I didn't know a lot about cinematography at that point in my career, but I was certainly learning. And um I was working it was funny because my my like kind of breadth of different things. I hadn't been a cameraman, I didn't know enough about how they shoot stuff. I knew just enough about miniatures, but um, what was interesting was, is in how they were going to shoot that sequence, I didn't, it, it's really, it turned out really cool. That's one of the coolest kill scenes, I think. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, for sure it is. Because the way that they did it was they had, they had, well, we had these um, uh, hydraulic rams outside the, outside of the phone booth. It's a full size phone booth. Mm. We had Candy Clark in it. And um, what I recall doing was they uh, they brought a, a dummy of her, uh, a body double dummy that they put in there for the, uh, actually when it crushes. But we just draped the um, the quilts again with the quilts that you can see them draping over the thing as she's talking on the phone. And and then, you know, br they bring old Herb in. That's such he a gets, cool scene. It's he's like the acid. Yeah, kind of eating yeah. him. You can tell he's getting eaten away and. And uh, basically those hydraulic rams, as they're, you know, as they're doing it, they just pressurize that and it just absolutely implodes. So what they had done was they had the A camera, which is shooting all of the action on the outside of it, with the close-ups. And then they had the dummy and a B camera on the inside to catch the implosion of everything. So it was really interesting to, to do that and, and then see the, what came out of that because it was absolutely beautiful footage that, that, it was a great scene. Yeah, it really was. So I have to say that's probably my most favorite. My second favorite was when we did the kitchen uh, when it comes out of the sink. That's a crazy scene. Uh, there's a That was a two-stepper there because you had the, the, the part where it comes up and grabs his face, which is actually shot in reverse. You, you have it, – it actually all started on his face and pulls away so that okay. when it, it gets reversed, it's – so that's how that was done. But then what we had for when it, when it cuts away from that and you see the kitchen and it just shoots up out of the sink onto the ceiling, that was basically a, I want to say, I want to say that was a third scale kitchen upside down. I was going to say it had to be upside yeah. down, right? Cause there's a third, lot of those third, scenes where yeah, it's third scale, off. very, very pretty, pretty large, pretty large scale. Um, but completely upside down, uh, pyro had wired a bunch of little rigs to the lights and, um, we just had a gate valve. So we loaded, we loaded these big drums that were part with, with the gate gate valve at the bottom. And that's where, where basically it ends at the sink. So you have, um, when they call action and everything happens, we just pull that gate valve and out it goes. <laughs> right nice. onto the ceiling so and uh you know pyro launching their little their little things but that was really i mean it's a really simple it's it's just funny because it's such a simple thing but it so looks effective. really good yeah, yeah 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 and i think that's that's that seems to be a common theme a lot of the time though too like just with practical effects you know it's just yeah so many cool and i didn't yeah, realize and, how just how much of that it was was miniature like i didn't know that that scene was miniature no, like it's it doesn't even like that doesn't even register in my mind. Like when I see like, you know, like the truck and everything, like I'm like, okay, that's a miniature. When I see like green screen, I'm just like, okay, I get how yeah. they, you know, that part of it. But um, yeah, wow, really uh, believable. And it just, I, I guess, because then you also just, you know, go to that part for a minute, right? And then you have like the regular yeah. scene and yeah, then it's exactly. just like, it's already in your head. It's very convincing. Like just, yeah, like I said, still stands up in many, in many ways. And um yeah, yeah, I think the other, the couple of the other scenes that I love. Yeah, I definitely love the the sink scene too, and then the drain, like you know, bulges out when he's getting sucked down, yeah. and like the the, oh, yeah. the the foot and the the arm up there. That, that's great. <laughs> and it's funny so because awesome. like as a kid, when I saw like that, terrified the crap out of me. Like you gave me nightmares. Oh, yeah. Like when I was as a kid, like you know, with the yeah. with that stuff. And then like I went back and watched it. I'm just like, it's not even that. It's not even that gory. There's there's a little bit of gore, like when he's getting sucked down the drain, but it's just just the impact of it 
is just yeah, you know, just, just the thought of it, like the acid that between the acid on the on the blob, and when you're really thinking about it yeah. as a spectator, you're like, oh, the acid's eating him, and his bones are snapping, and he's right, like, right. you know, getting pulled into that spot, and it's just kind of weird, you know, and it just, gives it you a weird just, feeling. Yeah, the brutality of it gets sucked down that yeah. small drain and everything, and then you see like the last, yeah, just the yeah. last part of like the Lego down. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. The arm and the shoe. <laughs> I love I love the scene with um, you know, at the uh oh, I forgot what his name, but the um the, the football guys at Joe or Josh or something. I forgot what his name was. Um right. but then you know, at the at the hospital, and then when he gets, you know, gets covered and then the face pulls back and drew and all like falls apart and the arm fall it comes off and everything. Yep. That's, that's uh, beautiful. That came out that came out really well. Yeah, um that was beautiful work. Yeah, so so you that's were all Tony at- Gardner's crew did all that. That was beautiful okay. stuff. Absolutely How many people were, were working on it? Were, were doing effects on on that movie? Um, like a ton. The effects that. crew. Well, it, well, like I said, there was there was a lot of blob wranglers. Uh, I remember at least thirty. Oh wow! Just blob wranglers, and then I was I I when I got on that film, I had actually gone to try to get on Tony's crew, uh, but he was already crewed up, so he made a phone call and because of my experience that I already was doing effects and I had already done other, other shows, certain things and other shows he called, he, he called up there and talked to somebody. And I wound up interviewing with a guy named Mike Fink, who was running all the visual effects stuff. And uh, so I just kind of, I became like a, like a onset effects go between. I would just help anybody there and dig in. Okay, cool. Figure out what we needed to make happen and make it happen um and, and tony's crew like did like uh, my friend brian i uh what's brian's last name brian wade he sculpted uh i want to say he sculpted the guy that was the projectionist when he was stuck to the ceiling mm-hmm. okay i think he sculpted that um and then chet czar worked on that as well chet czar was on tony's crew um brian was on tony's crew a bunch of my friends were on his crew already um but those guys, I mean, those guys really, they made everything like the, the girl in the theater, the, you know, all, the they face, made that stuff the look so the, real yeah. and so disturbing. It was just, it was yeah. awesome. Yeah, and no, the it's... dude, the, the bum in the, in the hospital that looked like pizza. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like... With the waist down and like, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, all this. Just... That was nasty. <laughs> yeah, the, the, but, the blob yeah. picks and chooses how it's going to kill people, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's really... Yeah, and the, uh, the 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 car scene too. That, that's a, that's a good yeah. The, with the face with implodes the, and it just comes like all comes out of her. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wasn't like he didn't deserve it, but uh, yeah, yeah, with his, yeah. With his trunk so, full of rings. So interesting, interesting story about that. Uh, I can't remember the character's name. The girl. Um, uh, the girl in the in the car. The, the girl in the car. Yeah, I don't know her name. She was um, just only in it for a my minute. my business partner. We're actually just talking about um, at the museum we were talking about our next change out. We have her. Oh, that, nice. That uh, where the comes out of her eyes and you know, everything right. crushes, crushing her head and, and kills Paul. I think his name, no, not Paul. Paul's the other kid. Paul's the other one. Um, yes. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. Um, so yeah. Fred? So we have Is that. Fred? We have, care. I have no idea. I'm watching. The <laughs> I, I, I should know. No I don't idea. know. <laughs> <laughs> ribbed ribbed <laughs> <laughs> that's the best yeah so yeah so um all i can all, all i can um say is that we're we're bringing some pieces in from the blob that are that are going to be pretty cool um nice i should have a i should have one of the hazmat suits i should awesome. have a, a 20 foot tentacle which should be interesting i'm gonna Sweet. figure out how i'm gonna put that up hang it from the ceiling uh, or something yeah yeah something <laughs> uh and uh, and her so nice that nice. should be interesting so uh for anyone who hasn't seen you know the first interview with nick we were talking about over at your spot over in las vegas at synologia did i get it right this time synologia you did <laughs> <laughs> i totally you know how to it. pronounce it last time i just wanted to make a joke out of it but <laughs> but, uh, but yeah no so synologia over in las vegas um, yeah. So if you, you want to just, you know, tell anybody who hasn't seen the other one, just a little bit about what you're doing with that. Yeah. So th- what we are is we're a, we're like a boutique museum. 
uh, it's we can't technically call ourselves a museum because of zoning and all kinds of weird permitting and shit like that. So it, but it's a museum. It's a, it's a gallery museum. Right. Uh, we have over 150 some odd pieces of, you know, props, costumes, memorabilia uh, from, I think we're representing currently approximately 60 films. Yeah. So that's all, all sci-fi fantasy and horror. Right. And yeah, and I, I went there and it was, it was awesome when you guys were first opening up and I'm sure that half the stuff is probably different now because you guys swap not back yet. All the time. Not yet. We've added some things since you've okay. been there. Uh, but on our next, our next switch out, it's going to be a wow. There's, there's a wow factor there. <laughs> we'll okay. announce that there's, okay. there's, you'll, you'll dig what we're, what okay. we're going to put in there. Okay. And then we're trying to outdo ourselves the next time after that even more. So We'll see how that works out. Well, I like how that sounds. <clears throat> so, so with the with the blob, we've talked about your feet, you know, your favorite, your favorite parts of it. We've talked about, um, you know, the team, the you know how the blob was made. Uh, what what do you think? How long does it take to movie to make a movie like that, like something with that? I mean, and that's painstaking, like physical effect. That's like all physical effects, right? And well, yeah, I mean. Keep in mind in those days, like we were still shooting film. They're still developing time. There's still so right. much prep time. Um, it's, you know, the industry's changed a lot, you know, with digital and, and the faster abilities to produce certain things faster. Uh, I won't say that practical effects get produced any faster because some of the old stuff still works very well and right. it's worth waiting for. Um but, you know, I mean, typically for me, uh, like I'll use the film I'm working on currently as an example. I'm looking at probably at least three months of prep and testing. Um, it may take a little longer than that. I hope not. But uh, we're going to have to have three months to create everything for it. And that's not even starting shooting. That's just to make the stuff that needs mm. to happen and the kills and and everything. I know that uh, on the blob, I think that was probably a good year before they even started shooting. Okay. I could be wrong, but wow, that's still. You know, I came into it. I came into it kind of late, so I, you know, I think I think all all inclusive. I think by the time you include pre production and and hiring crew and hiring actors and everything, it's probably a year. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, it's worth it because it's uh, been over 30 years and it uh, <laughs> looks pretty good still. So yeah, still really a fun film. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, what other, so just while, while we're on the blob, just general and how, you know, that's a remake that's really well respected. And, you know, I, when I, when I talk about it and I talk about the eighties, I mean, the three, the three big ones that come up all the time, right. Of like the good, the good remakes, right. You got the fly, the blob and the thing. Um, what else, are there any other remakes that you, that you like just personally? Honestly, you covered both of them. <laughs> the fly <laughs> and the thing. Those are the good ones. Those, <laughs> both of those, I mean, even today just blow me away. Yeah. I look at those films today sure. and, and I just still cannot believe how awesome they are as For effects sure. wise. For sure. Um, I, I actually like the uh, Carpenter's thing from that era better than I like the new one. The new yeah, one's yeah, okay. Well, it's yeah. okay, but it's not that one. Right, right. No, I agree. And, I, uh, I agree. And the fly, I mean, holy shit, you just cannot, you cannot beat that one. Yeah, that's uh, pretty, they pretty tried, They tried stuff. with the blob and they got close, but <laughs> the fly was just, that was really seriously badass work. It, it is. Um, but what I, what I like about the blob better is I just think it's a more fun movie. Um, sure. obviously the, the, you know, the, the fly is, I mean, the fly looks great. There's no, no denying that. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's one of those too. that didn't take itself too seriously. Right. Right. Which is, you know, when you, when you're talking about eighties movies, I mean, that's the sweet spot. You got the gory yeah. kills, you got that, you know, the, the crazy stuff and everything and like wacky, wacky shit happening. Great haircuts. Right. <laughs> and then you have, uh, uh, but, but well, and we had the, that. and we had the silly campy little nod back to the original, blob when he's in the freezer and he kills the strawberry jam so yeah 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 oh that's right that was from that huh that was a little nod to that hmm. yeah and i also thought it was cool too that you know that the you know the green screen stuff was in there too like 
like in the original, like, you know, had a lot of the, you know, the effect. And the- yeah. In those days, in those days, it was blue screen. Okay. Okay. It wasn't a green screen. It was blue screen. So it was, um, it was all shot in a really big facility that had set. I think they had seven stages, huge facility for, for visual mm-hmm. effects. And, and this is, you know, pre CGI. Right. So right. They, they did some amazing stuff. This is called Dream Quest Images. Okay. Okay. And um, I mean, well, what else? What else do you want to tell me? What an interesting set story and in, in anything like interesting just on set or like, you know, I know obviously there was a, <laughs> it was a mess. It was yeah. very messy. <laughs> you go home with all that crap dried up all over you. You look like you were a leper, you know? <laughs> So does it dry up bad. and like crust up? Is that what happens? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So it just gets all over everything. Yeah, it was bad. It was all over everything, clothes, everything. At least it washes off easily, washes out of your clothes easily. But okay, man, what messy shit. <laughs> Did you save some? Did I save some? No. <laughs> you never want to see you it know, again. <laughs> I, I, well, the problem is, is being an effects guy, I see it all the time. I wound sure. up using it on the Slipknot video, and you know, oh, okay, I mean, same stuff, same material. Yeah, buckets of it there too. So I got you. Okay, so it's the same yeah. material that's used for a lot of it, but it was just really the blankets that made it. That kind of kept that together with all the pockets in it and right. changing those out and everything. Uh, all right. Yeah, I, I never would have guessed that that was blankets. I never knew that. That's awesome. Yeah, and it's it, it worked absolutely beautifully yeah it, it it certainly did um i mean other kills that we haven't talked about i'm just trying to think that's that's i mean that's that's the majority of the the main you know like with the with the the, the face in the in the movie theater when she stretches away right. and all and like she has like all the right. all, it almost looks like something from society or something it's got like all the um <laughs> i don't know how to how to really say it but like you know like fibers i'll put a picture up of it um but yeah that that scene looked great yeah, that's that was absolutely stunning looking. I mean, it was so disturbing to have her like peel off of the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, oh man, it's bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That uh, it's yeah, and watching it again from watching that when I was a kid, um, yeah, that was terrifying. And also, like, you never you didn't know it was coming next because you weren't sure who was yeah. going to die and who wasn't going to die, and that kept you on the edge of your seat while it still had that you know cartoony fun kind of you know, action eighties kind of deal too. So uh, a big favorite of mine. Um, so how about, um, so what you're working on now, you are saying you're working, I know you're working on two movies. I know you're working on um, House in the Pines and I know you're working on Killer Popcorn. Killer so, Popcorn is uh, almost done being edited. It's, it's okay. finished. Oh, that's completely um, finished now. Okay. I just talked to the director, I think two or three days ago. Uh, trying to get a release date because I'd actually like to get get it out there and and screen it, uh, you know. But um, I think he said that they're just waiting for a couple little small things. But other than that, it's it's done. Okay. So they should be releasing next month. That's awesome, Target. man. Well, congrats, yeah. congrats on that. And <laughs> um, I hope to uh, to see it soon. Any idea if re- we don't know any like the actual release times or anything yet? So I don't, I don't have that information yet. I'll probably, I'll probably throw it up on my Facebook and Instagram as soon as I know. All right, cool. Sounds good. And House on the Pines, you said you're, you're still, uh, that one's going to be a while longer, right? Um, yeah, I think, I think just because we're, we're, we're still in, we're finishing pre-production. I mean, we're, we've got that pretty much hammered out. I think that they're getting ready to start looking at casting uh, we just had our fifth production meeting uh, last week, and I have some finance meetings next week. Um, but as soon as we do that, you know, we'll start building stuff. But uh, since we're shooting in Tennessee, I think that we have a window that I don't know if we'll catch this year, but you never know. Okay. Okay. Um, and then you have a couple other things coming up too. I know you have, uh, what is it, next month? You have the, um, the, I forgot which, what the name of the event was. Um, yeah, I'm going to be, let's see, next month is March. I think there's a couple of possibilities. I, I don't think they've been locked in yet. I okay. think uh, okay. there is one in Nashville. Right. That's okay. Yeah, that's uh, you There's one in about. Nashville I may be doing. And then the Pennsylvania one I may be doing. And then in April, 
I'm going to be in uh, Tampa Bay, Florida at Tampa Bay Screams. Right. You were saying that. Yeah. All right. So you've got your, your hands full. So where can, uh, where can people get in touch with you if they want to reach out to you? What's the best place to well, find on you? Social, usually. Social, you can find me at uh, facebook.com, Nick J. Benson Official. Uh, and on Instagram, at Nick Benson 427. Um, I am, I, yeah, I said, I'm, I'm getting very busy. My wife has actually told me it's time for me to hire a personal assistant because I can't even keep my own calendar <laughs> straight anymore. So nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, so applicants can, can apply there. On, yeah, sure. On, on your social. <laughs> Why not? Right. Let's throw it out there. <laughs> Somebody there that's go. really good with keeping a calendar and keeping my dumb ass on task. <laughs> well, I, I want to see if good stuff from you that. in the future. So we need, we need somebody to fill that position. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks so much for joining me today. And uh, guys, Nick Benson, look forward to his movies in the future. We know you love his movies in the past. And uh, good luck to you, sir. Thank you, brother. Take care. Thanks, man. Take care. So that wraps up my talk with Nick for today. Nick, thank you so much for joining again and uh, talking to me about all this stuff. It's a big pleasure for me to nerd out to. And thank all of you guys for coming and spending your time here with me. It really does mean a lot to me. And hey, if you did enjoy the material today, uh, why not consider subscribing to the channel? I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. It makes me feel super sexy. And I'll probably keep making videos that way. So yeah, it's a pretty good bargain. And hey, can't get enough of the blob? Well, you're in luck. Uh, next month on April 9th and 10th, uh, 2021, uh, there's going to be a blob event at the Mahoning Drive-In in Layton, Pennsylvania. And uh, that's gonna show both the original and the 1988 remake of the blob. And Nick Benson's gonna be there. And I'm also gonna be there. And I might have a special blob surprise with me too. So check that out. Another really cool thing about this event is going to be that a lot of the proceeds are going to go to help out the uh, Colonial Theater, where the original Blob movie, the 1958 one, was filmed, um, you know, to try to help them out through some of the harder times that they're going through as a movie theater, uh, you know, during this time period. So uh, go out, support a good cause, and I'll put all the information for that below. So with all that said, thank you guys again for joining, and until next time, take care of yourselves. <laughs> Turned out that the 80s were actually a pretty good time for remaking 50s movies. Who would have guessed? What I mean by that is I'm glad that, you know, they got done with rehashing 50s horror practical effect movies because if they were making them now, they would probably be, you know, it's the same idea as making them into something that they're not. You watch it. I don't care.